I'm Katrina Skeffer, and you might remember me from the Cadbury's Flake ad. Only the crown <laughs> I'd like to take you on a trip down memory lane with my celebrity chat series sponsored by Pet Protect. I'll be visiting much-loved stars and their pets in their homes and catching up with what they've been up to. Stedman, thank you very much for inviting us in to meet you and Joe today. It's a pleasure. Thank you for coming. I grew up with Five Star kind of right. in my music collection, still are, and you've still got a huge fan base. And I want to know what those years mean to you. Oh, those were absolutely wonderful years. You know, uh, how we got together was amazing. As a family? As a family, yeah. First of all, it was my three sisters that got together, and then my brother being a semi-professional soccer player for West Ham, and I was training with Junior Great Britain at the time to be an athlete, and then I went to performing arts school. By the time i just finished performing arts school, the first two years, that's when my mother put the group together, and Buster came in, managed... Buster uh, being my, my father, yeah. Um, and he, he managed the, the whole thing from there on. A lot of people thought that we had fame instantly, but um, the first single, Problematic, John Sachs uh, played that for us, and all the, the, the travelling that we had to do from club to club to club to club uh, to promote the single. I think it came a little bit easier for us because we were a family and we were a novelty. People didn't understand where we had come from. And even though we're in Essex now, you know, this is where we grew up, a lot of people thought we were American, shipped over here and trying to break England. Um, and before they knew it, uh, they found out that we were British and everything went crazy. Amazing, amazing, amazing things that we, we had done and accomplished at that time at such a young age as well. Were you a fan of the Jacksons? I mean, were you obviously aware of them, but were you... Very much aware of them. I was very much a, a big fan of uh, Michael's. Um, I remember when Off the Wall came out and I used to listen to him. And there were programmes I would watch with the Jacksons and I'd somehow relate to Michael so much and I didn't understand why. But as life went on, uh, you know, you, you kind of understand yourself a little bit more. Were you under pressure to be like Michael Jackson? Did your father or anyone put pressure no, on you? No, Buster never put pressure on me to be like Michael. Um, it just, it, it just happened to be that way. I'm just softly spoken the way he is. Um, you know, I, I've not had any kind of surgery to look like Michael. Um, I'm just the way I am. You're about to do a big comeback. I'm back in studio again, remastering the album. You've written the album? I wrote the, the whole album. It's an eclectic sound. It, there's um, pop, hip hop, pop R&B, uh, pop opera, pop rock, and just pop on the album. It's just how I felt at the time. And it all seems to flow very well at the moment. It's called Eliminate. Eliminate? Eliminate, yes. It's to... obviously a good title. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's a personal thing. I just, it's just moving on from the old Stedman and finding the new Stedman, which is me now, a much stronger person. Um, yeah. Stedman, congratulations. I gather you've got a very exciting <laughs> piece of news for us. Yay! Yes, I've got the uh, the lead role uh, playing Michael Jackson on stage, a musical. Um, it's basically based on Michael Jackson's life. Um, it's a show that's going around the world at the moment and um, uh, the chaps that I've spoken to seem to think that I resemble Michael quite a bit and in the way I speak and uh, the way I, I, I dance. Um, the singing aspect of it, um, getting coached for that by David Cook, um, it's amazing to actually learn how well Michael sings and how high he actually sings um, and to hit those notes. There, there's a few songs that I can actually sing in his note, but the rest of them, I'm just going to have to do them my way. It's the only way I'm going to get through it. Have you got a favourite Michael Jackson song? Yeah, there's several actually. Uh, one of them being, um, she's out of my life. She's out of my life. That's my favorite. Really? <laughs> you knock me off of my feet now, baby. Hey, pretty lady with the high heels on. 
That you, by the way. You give me fever like I've never ever known. That is just so cool. Without even any music as backing. Fantastic. <laughs> And you get to play Michael Jackson on and off stage, I understand. Absolutely, on stage around the world, but also outside doing it, TV interviews, magazines, radio, so on and so forth. But I'm allowed to be myself as well at the same time, which, when you look at it, the, the two are quite similar anyway. Who would you like to get the seal of approval from? Um, I think Janet. I mean, Janet has said before, uh, a few years back, that um, she thinks that... Stedman from Five Star is the closest thing to her brother Michael, so I, that to me is just a huge compliment. And to sort of get this role as well, it, I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's a dream come true. Stedman Joe, great dog. Mm -hmm. What type of dog is he though? Uh, he is um, a mixed breed of a pug and a Jack Russell. Uh, he's coming up a year old and uh, sweet little dog. He came into my life unexpectedly at a point where my life was kind of low, you know, and he's been a great friend and companion, as you can hear in the background. Hey, Joe. What would you say Joe adds to your quality of life or vice versa? Um, you know what, for me, um, he brings me peace of mind. Um, I always feel calm when I'm around him. I, I, you know, he asks for nothing but um, just love and attention, that's it. That's the only two things he asks for. And for me, that's what I give in return. Um, he sits, he listens to me moan anyway, um, and doesn't judge me, doesn't pass judgment. And he's just, he's just a bundle of fun. If you could give a dog a home mm -hmm. from a shelter, would you give it a go? Adopting a cat or a dog from a shelter, I think that's better, I really do. There are so many that are out there without homes. Um, if you look with your heart, not just with your eyes, but with your heart, you'll know which animal to take home. It might be one, it might be a dozen. If you do take a dozen, make sure, one, you can look after them and keep them healthy. Is there anything you do in particular to look after your loyal friend? I like to sort of <laughs> file his nails a little bit because he likes to jump a lot. He likes to jump up on me a lot and those nails do dig. So I just buff them a little bit. Um, <clears throat> He's a man, though. He's cool. Um, what are your top tips for pets? Uh, well, my top tips are bathing them, keeping them clean. Absolutely essential, because I don't like my home to smell of dogs. Um, making sure that you take them out for a walk um, every single day. And um, I think pet insurance is very, very important. It's very valuable. Um, I mean, because th th there's a lot could go wrong, God forbid, with any animal. So we, we make sure that he has all of his injections up to date. Um, we buy the right kind of foods for him and uh, dog chews so that they can clean their, their teeth and, and everything else. Um, and just keep them healthy. Don't overfeed them. Don't overfeed them. And also getting your dog microchipped. Stedman, thank you so much. It's been wonderful meeting you, hearing about you and Joe. Thank you. Thank and you so much. We'll see you again soon. I hope so.